Hello YouTube and today we're going to check out the G.I. Joe Classified Lady J. A little bit of history, the Lady J action figure was first released in 1985. The shoulder patch on that figure's left arm is the patch of the U.S. Army Reserve's 91st Army Reserve. Her first appearance in the G.I. Joe comics was number 32 in February of 1985. She arrived with Ripcord to replace Scarlet and Grunt. She made her first appearance on the second G.I. Joe miniseries, The Revenge of Cobra. Um, her specialty is covert operations. Her rank is E4 Corporal, that is in 1985. Her name is Allison R. Hart. Dash Burnett, birthplace is Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts, and her primary MOS is counterintelligence. And don't think for one minute that Lady J can't pull off a dress and look great like this. Okay, so let's check out this action figure. I'm gonna check out the box first. As you can see, we got the clear plastic bubble with the figure inside. We got an some awesome art gi joe classified hasbro four and up no one under three there's the side number 25 this side with some more artwork and the back with the big picture of all of the joes and cobras unfortunately i still wish that uh they would have made a filing card to put on the back that would have been cool but oh well so anyways that's the figure pull that up and let's take a look at her all right let's get this open and take a look at what's inside okay let's check her out all right first the action figure looks pretty good i mean it looks like lady j this looks like the cartoon version right here. I mean, as close as we can get without actually being the cartoon version for G.I. Joe Hasbro. The face sculpt is awesome. We got all of her belts. This is a cross between, actually the outfit probably looks more like the uh, comic book version, but it's pretty close to the, um, the cartoon version as well, especially with the head sculpt. Okay, so first we're going to take that off. Whoa, G.I. Jane. Okay, now we're going to put this one on. Now that is more of the comic book version right there. So that's a pretty cool hat. Depends on how you want to do it, whether you... I don't know if I'm digging that, though. Oh, that's why. There we go. You got to be careful. Got to make sure that the hair comes down. Otherwise, it looks kind of weird. Still don't look right. But anyways, that's pretty cool. Arms move, hand swivel, knees bend, very flexible. So, move her up and down. All right, she's got her knife. And we're gonna put that in there, just like that, ready to go. And this is pretty cool. There is her gun. Okay, and it is going to be able to shoot these. All right, check that out. Now, if we can get that on, there we go. All right, that's cool. Her spears, javelins, whatever you want to call it, that'll shoot it. Or she can just hold it like she used to in the cartoons and do flips and whatnot and throw them at the cobras and that's all cool too we got a couple of those take this one and we'll set it right in her backpack which that's cool this little camera here and there's where you can fit all the extras like that one now i mean that that one you gotta fit that wait oh there we go that fits in there. And here's this one, that one fits in there. And those look outstanding. That way you don't lose them. Put the pack on. There's one. 
there it is in her weapon. Let's put that on her too while we're at it. Oops. That's kind of hard to get in her, her hand. Okay. That is pretty cool. She's ready to go on a mission. I don't know, man. I'm not digging the hat though. This is this is Lady J. Okay, there we go. She's ready to go on a mission. Looking cool. Looking good. Check that out. That is awesome. Really, really neat. And unfortunately, I do not have the old action figure to compare this to. Never did have a Lady J. To be quite honest with you as a kid, I never saw a Lady J around. So, I don't even know if it came to this area around here. Because that was something that I had never seen as a kid. So, anyways, that's pretty cool. Um, like the Hasbro version. Kind of looking more forward to the Super 7 one, though, to be honest with you. But uh, that is really good. That's an awesome sculpt on the face. It looks outstanding. This is a cool figure. Of course, the Lady J doesn't really go without Flint, so you have to get a Flint at some point to go with Lady J because they're just, they just go together. That's just all there is to it. All you have to do is watch the cartoons and you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, well, thank you for watching. And today, take the time to thank a vet and God bless.